formula bar in the Power Query can be quite useful, although we try and avoid using it too much. So let's just show you what we mean. Here's our data. Let's get it into Power Query. And what you'll see is we've got our information, we've got our applied steps. And what you may see here is a formula bar. Now if you don't see it, you must click on View and just switch it on. So you may have something that looks like that. Just switch on the formula bar. And what you'll see is as you do your applied steps, for example, if I click on source, notice that the formula bar has changed. When I click here, and this step here, you'll see has some code. Now this is the code that Power Query is using to actually do all its um, transformations. So if you want, you could type it like this, but it's a lot easier to click the buttons. But let's just show you what we can do with this. Let's say we decide this word amount should be, and I've double clicked it, and I'm gonna rename it revenues, and I click enter. So I've renamed it, that's great, but revenues is not a good word. I wanna get rid of that S. So how can I do it? Well, notice that when I click in renamed column, over here we've got a formula bar, and if you actually look at it, it's not that hard to read. Table rename, and you'll see it used to be amounts, and there's the word I typed, revenues. So let's maybe change it to a bit more extreme. I'm gonna call it turnover. So notice I can just go into the formula bar type the new words I want and when I click enter it now overwrites what we had. So using your buttons, changing columns etc basically creates a bit of code and Excel uses the code. If you need to go back you can click on any one of these see what it says here and you can tweak it. So although we don't want you to use it too much it is quite a nice way to make little tweaks and just to see what's actually happening here. So don't forget about this formula bar, it can be used.